Why are Mila Kunis's eyes different colors and was she really blind in one eye? If you're interested in finding out, keep watching. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified ophthalmologist. And on this channel, we talk about eye health, eye surgery, eye makeup health, and a little bit about my life here in Hawaii. So if any of that interests you, please make sure to hit the like, subscribe, and follow along on this journey. All right, let's get back to Mila Kunis. I have always noticed that her eyes are of a slightly different color, and I bet if you're here, you've noticed this too. Now, people's eye color is based on how much melanin their body makes, and it's genetic, of course, but it's not just one gene from your mom, one gene from your dad, and there you go. They've actually found that it's a lot more complicated than that, that many genes contribute to eye color. So what's going on with Mila Kunis? Well, she has said in an interview back when Black Swan came out that she was actually blind in one eye. Mila actually came out and had a quote in an article where she discussed what exactly was going on with her eyes and the different eye color. She said, I was blind in one eye for many years and nobody knew. I'm not blind anymore. I had surgery a couple of months ago. They cut it open and dropped a new lens in there. All right, so that gives us a lot of clues as to what has been going on. And she later talked about having a condition called uveitis, which is inflammation in the eye. And she mentioned that she had chronic uveitis, which is just means she had it for a long time, and that she developed a cataract. That's the reason that they cut her eye open, they removed the cataract, and they inserted a new artificial lens in the eye. So all of this comes together and and likely Mila probably has a condition called Fuchs heterochromic iridocyclitis. What it is, it's a chronic form of uveitis and it's just in one eye. So what is uveitis anyway? Well, uveitis is inflammation in the eye and there's different parts of the eye that you can have persistent inflammation in. You can have it in the front part of the eye called iritis. You can have it in the middle part of the eye called intermediate uveitis. And you can even have it in the back part of the eye. That's usually called posterior uveitis. It can manifest as optic neuritis, retinal vasculitis, all sorts of things. But the uveitis in Fuchs, heterochromic uveitis, tends to be in the front structures of the eye. And what that means is when you go to the eye doctor, we are always checking every single part of your eye. We're checking the front, the middle, the back. But there's a part that connects the front and the middle. It's called the anterior chamber, and it's filled with a liquid called the aqueous humor. It's what what gives your eye some volume in the front part of your eye. Now that part of your eye can develop cells and flare, and that's inflammatory cells that we can visualize. It almost looks like a movie projector. When you're at the movies and you look up and you see the movie projector and you see the little particles uh, floating through the light, that's actually what we're looking for when we're trying to assess for uveitis, especially in the front part of the eye. Now, Fuchs, in addition to having chronic uveitis, it also changes the eye color and it makes one eye lighter than the other. So likely, According to this picture here, Mila, I think that her condition is in the right eye. You can notice that the right eye looks like it's a little bit lighter and her pupil is a little bit larger on that side as well. So sometimes that happens after surgery and sometimes that happens as a consequence of having all this inflammation. The pupil gets stuck down a little bit and that's very common. This condition typically affects young adults, 27 to 44 years old, and it affects men and women equally. And just like Amila's case, it's usually associated with cataracts and also glaucoma. Now, what is a cataract? Well, a cataract is when the natural lens of the eye starts to get cloudy. When there's a lot of inflammation in the eye, it's almost always associated with a cataract. That, those inflammatory cells just precipitate and they make the lens cloudy. So usually, People with Fuchs, if they have cataract surgery, then they have a really good visual outcome, just like Amila's case. She said once that they took the lens out and they dropped in that new lens that she sees well. Now, how is it that she didn't know that she was blind in one eye? Well, first, most people don't walk around checking eye to eye. You use your two eyes together. So it stands to reason a lot of times if the vision decrease is not dramatic or doesn't happen over just a few days or a few months, then you might not notice it. And it's actually really common in this particular condition because it takes a very chronic insidious onset. So it just happens over months or even years. 
And so likely she just didn't notice these small changes that were happening every single day. And that's what I see a lot of in my practice. I see a lot of uveitis and I see it a lot in kids as well as young adults. And oftentimes they don't even have any symptoms at all. They come into their eye doctor, Maybe they might notice that the eye is a little different color or the pupil seems a little misshapen. They may have a little bit of eye redness or light sensitivity, maybe floaters, but usually they don't have any symptoms at all. And they just come in to figure out why does their eye look a little bit different, but they don't notice anything. When we examine the eyes, that's when we can see the inflammation in the front structure. And just like Mila, a lot of people will come in and notice the decreased vision from the cataract because the cataract, it clouds the lens so then light cannot enter your eye well and it cannot get transported to the back of your eye onto the retina because there's a blockage there it's all cloudy so that decreased vision can be a presenting factor as well. So how do we treat uveitis or specifically people with Fuchs heterochromic iridocyclitis? Well, the first treatment is steroid drops and that's not a long-term solution, but it's a beginning. And what that does is steroids help stop inflammation. So eye drop names will be like prednisolone acetate, also called Predforte. There might be a drop like Lodamax or Durazole. These are all steroid drops that your eye doctor might use to combat the inflammation. And then we treat treat the secondary complications. So if there is a cataract and it's affecting the vision as it was in Mila's case, we take it out by doing cataract surgery. And that now is a surgery that takes about 15 minutes. We can break the cataract up either with laser or ultrasound power, remove the pieces of the cataract, which is just your cloudy natural lens, and then insert an artificial lens in its place. Another complication that happens with Fuchs is something called glaucoma. And the glaucoma can be pretty significant. Glaucoma is typically when you have high pressure in the eye and it starts to damage the optic nerve of your eye. And then you lose peripheral vision. When it's really advanced, you get tunnel vision. You might have perfect 20-20 vision with glaucoma, but you start to get really constricted visual feel. So all you can see is something like that. So for glaucoma, usually most patients with Fuchs can be managed with eye drops. There's all sorts of different kinds of eye drops that work at decreasing the amount of fluid in the eye or helping the fluid get out of the eye better. And there are also glaucoma surgeries. I haven't heard that she had to have a glaucoma surgery, just that she's had the cataract surgery. So here's hoping she doesn't have glaucoma as a secondary complication because that can be really pretty terrible terrible and requires drops lifelong. So there you go. Was Mila Kunis blind in one eye? Likely yes. She probably had very poor vision from a cataract, which was formed because of the chronic uveitis, likely from her Fuchs heterochromic iridocyclitis, which is the reason she has a light eye and a darker eye. Interesting thing too is that this is more easily seen in people with lighter eyes, blue, hazel, green eyes. Mila's got kind of a greenish hazel color to her eyes. It's really hard actually to see it in someone like me with dark brown eyes because even though the iris is lighter, it's not substantially lighter. So it can be easily missed. So that is something in case you have brown eyes and you've been diagnosed with it and you don't feel like this is the right diagnosis, it's because it might just be a little bit easier to miss in those darker eyes. Well, there you go. If you have any other questions, questions about celebrities and their eyes you want to know what's going on drop it in the comments below I'd love to answer it this is always so fascinating for me to discover what exactly is going on with their eyes and if you have any other eye health topics you want me to address drop those in the comments as well until next time I'm Dr. Rupa it was good to see you bye-bye